Right. This seemingly basic exam okay, keep your eyes closed. determines Where's how this young mom here? is recovering from surgery to remove a brain tumor. Okay, tell me what, what do you see moving? But it was not just any brain surgery. One, uh, uh, two. Imagine staying awake the entire time and talking to doctors during the operation. It was like going to the dentist and just hearing them work on your mouth. Then instead they were working on my brain. <laughs> this type of surgery is called awake craniotomy. Surgeons with Norton Neuroscience Institute say when patients stay awake, it helps the surgeon prevent brain damage while removing the tumor. In Amber's case, the tumor was very close to centers for language and it was very close to centers for strength. And specifically, it was close to centers for strength for her mouth and her tongue, which also affects language. We were actually quite surprised as we were mapping her out we found that we were really close to some of her strength centers when I didn't really expect to be. Amber first found out about the tumor after experiencing no sudden seizures do. during her pregnancy. Twice a month, maybe more, and, and it was kind of scary. When I was having the seizures, it would make my mouth draw up, and that's where the tumor was for, for the part that works my mouth. So I just... It, stayed flat. <laughs> I couldn't open my mouth for a while. It just was nerve-wracking having the seizures before, but thank goodness I don't have any seizures now. Amber is now married and juggling several roles. Doctors say she has recovered greatly, even after chemotherapy and radiation treatment. Are you coming up here? As Amber continues to thrive, she's also grateful to go home to her husband and baby boy. I'm just hopeful for everything in my family just being healthy, all of us being healthy. I'm Jasmine Embers for Norton Healthcare.